If your field representatives are going to generate purchase orders and or perform retail audits in the field, you will first need to create a list of products in the back office. The product list can be found by clicking on the products tab above the map in the back office web console. This will show you all of your current products and allow you to edit them or add new items to the list. Products can be added one at a time by clicking on the new product button. Every new product will of course require a name. Each product must also have a code, a unique identifier that Repsly uses to distinguish one product from the next. Every product's price will be set by the back office for the purpose of purchase orders. Products must also be assigned to a product group. These groups are fully customizable, meaning you can edit them at any time and create as many groups in total as you want, but each product will belong to only one of the groups. Finally, you can label your products with tags, which can then be used to filter your product list in the back office. To add one or more tags to any product, click the Add Tags link in the product's profile. This will bring up a list of all your current product tags, and you can either select from that list or create new tags directly to attach them to the product. Once all of the product details are in place, click Save to have the product added instantly to your master products list. The other way products can be added to the list is through a product import. If you have product information saved already in a spreadsheet format, you can upload that data into Repsly all at once, adding multiple products to the list at the same time. To do a product import, click on the drop-down arrow next to the New Product button and select Import Products. This will bring you to a screen where you can either upload a spreadsheet file directly or copy and paste the data from the spreadsheet into Repsly. When importing product data, you will need to provide a name, code, price, and group for each product, and you may also include any tags if you choose. Remember also that the codes of new products must not match the codes of any existing products in your list, or else the old products will be overwritten with the new information. Once you load the data, but before the import is complete, you will be brought to a screen asking you to confirm that each column from the spreadsheet is being mapped to the correct information field in Repsly. When all the columns have been properly assigned, click the Import button to add the products from the spreadsheet to your Repsly product list. As mentioned before, the product list can be filtered in the back office by tags. To do this, click on the Add More Filters option at the top of the product list. You can then click on the blank tag field that pops up to see a list of all your product tags. Check the box next to the tag or tags that you wish to set as filters, then click the Apply button to the right. The product list will immediately change to show you only those products that have the tags you've selected. To bring back the full list, click once more on Add More Filters and remove the tags by clicking the little X's next to each of them, then click Apply again. In the Repsly mobile app, the product list can be used to create purchase orders in the field. Whenever a rep selects a client from their clients list, one of the available activities will be a purchase order. After opening the purchase order, reps will first see a list of the product groups. They can then choose any group to see a list of the products in that group and the prices of each as determined by the back office. Reps can then add the items to the order in any quantities and the total will be calculated automatically. They can also go back to select and add products from other groups before submitting the order to the back office. The product list can also be used to create retail audits in the back office that reps can then fill out and submit from the field. The Retail Audits page is located under the gear icon in the top right of the Repsly Back Office web console. This displays a list of all current audits and allows the Back Office Manager to create new ones with the new Retail Audit button. Retail audits are used to gather in-store data about specific groups of products, so each audit must be attached to one or more of the product groups from your Repsly product list. After assigning the product groups and deciding what information must be collected about them, the manager can save the audit to have it added to the retail audits list. From the mobile app, reps will see all of the currently available retail audits whenever they open any client from their clients list. They can then select any one of the audits to see a list of all the products in the associated product groups and gather the appropriate data about those products for the current client. This concludes our overview of product management in Repsley. Thanks for watching.